this is a piece of a uh, sort of um, topical satire. Topical satire. It was written in ain't the Rupert Murdoch News International News of the World scandal, which I felt, but like a lot of folk, I felt quite strongly about. I thought there was a lot of nastiness going on here. So this is a bit of um, humorous topical satire for you this time. And I suppose it's in the tradition of, of a long, long history of, of Scottish satire. You know, for Burns right through to McDermott. It's called The End of the World. You all have seen the tabloid fuss. The news of the world has bit the dust. Sundays will just no be the same. Sign Rupert's pit them out the game. What can we find out new, folks say? Eh? Oh, Ryan Giggs has shagged the day. Or Gordon Ramsay's father-in-law? His secret wife and wanes and all. Mark's Mosley photos quite perverse as Nazi hookers scalped his ears. Corey plots are else East Enders, Tommy Sheridan in suspenders. Stories that go on and on have even parked Jim Monaghan. But now the world's come to an end as Rupert tries to mark amends for hacking into Millie's phone. He didn't ken it was gone on. Friends, it's a total bloody disgrace. He needs four mere as a pie in his face. But Rupert was kept for only ill by the swift responses of Shanghai Lil. And what about Sir Paul or the Met? What did his boys in blue all get? Kickbacks, checks and fly back honours. Greed and corruption walks among us. A real police force, can you ask me boys? Arrests mere crooks the net employs. And that fly Duca Cameron, he kens for mere than he lets own. Coulson and him were thick as thieves, so now he ducks and dives and weaves, his weasel words appear disguise, refusing to apologise. Though in red wind bush, Rebecca Brooks, a sleek it bitch with Mark ye puke, gin out twa hundred P forty five, said awfully sorry, then contrived to stay in post and brazen it out. Within three days was chip it out. Oh, Rupert wouldn't he tack the blame. He shed her skin to save his ain. Mine, these days he's no quite so chipper. Looks like he couldn't have fin his slippers. Come Sunday she was under arrest, growled all day by London's best. They slumber parties at number ten. She isn't likely to see you again. When justice finally has its day, she'll slumber down in Holloway. This little shop of tabloid horrors, a five-year thing now for the lawyers. And Cameron hopes he's saved his ass by kicking this into the grass. And as for poor old cynical me, I think a four-hour long we'll see new laws being passed to gag the press ensuring the only future mess, suggesting Murdoch was to blame, will no get published ever again. Freedom of the press, its race is run. Read all about it in the Sunday Sun.